Hey, what's up you guys? It's GP Fire and we're back with another Genshin video update. Now, I'm going to try to keep this short and simple as much as possible. Go through this forum as quick as possible. And then we're going to be talking about my opinions on these changes and all of that good jazz. As always, link will always be in the description down below. So if you want to go and check that out for yourself, feel free to do so. It says, greeting travelers. Since release, we have received a tre treasure trove on valuable feedback and suggestions from travelers. Uh, first off, we would like to thank all of you guys for your support. We have carefully reviewed and summarized everyone's suggestion and selected ones that travelers care about the most to bring to the developer's attention. Check out their replies in the de developer's discussion. Question number one, I never have enough resin, uh, which makes it difficult to complete various daily tasks and the weekly battle pass missions. In version 1.1, we have decreased the original resin requirement. In battle pass weekly missions from 1.6k uh, original resin to only having to use uh, 1.2k instead. Furthermore, travelers will be able to store up a maximum of 160 original resin instead of a limit of 120. And if you guys do not know what they're talking about, they're basically talking about the max capped resin right here. So instead of it being 120, then it's gonna cap out at 160 instead. Uh, question number two, I want to change uh, the key bindings or controller setup. We are in the process of developing a key binding and controller setup function, part of which will go live in version 1.1. We are uh, firing on all cylinders to complete the remaining functionality, which will be, be become available to players in the later version. So, as you guys all know, the changes to key bindings and controllers, all of that stuff is going to come. So yeah just look forward to it there's not really much i need to say here question number three i wish there were more ways to filter artifacts in version 1.1 we have added new filters for artifacts based on their basic attributes now travelers will be able to easily filter artifacts by attributes now if you guys didn't know this is a really huge problem in genshin impact which is whenever you are upgrading an artifact let's say for example this one and we try to enhance it you don't know what artifacts you are putting into it so for example i could be like putting these in but i don't know if they are god tier roll artifacts or just trash artifacts i can't see their their stats at all so basically in order to check you would be have to be like okay i'm gonna look for this flower i have to exit out of that I have to go to the flower tab, look for that exact flower to see, oh, is this the one that I want to feed it into the artifact that I'm leveling up because it's trash or not. And that is a huge problem. And it seems like that's what they're trying to do. I'm not too sure, um, but they did say just to filter artifacts by their attributes. So who knows? Hopefully it will get better in the future. Traversing in the game is time consuming. I want to be able to set up my own teleport waypoints for areas I frequently visit. And they answered with, we have developed an item that provides this kind of function, which will be available for free in the new system. Travelers can look out for this version 1.1. So if you guys didn't know, uh, the person who leaked all the items and all of that stuff, like a boss, um, you guys saw like an item that was used for like setting up your own TP points. For example, this cube boss all the way over here, there's not really any TP point there or there is no way it's clo anywhere close to a TP point. So basically you would have to TP to this, either go all the way around to get to it or just freeze your way across it. And that takes quite a while just to get to this boss compared to as the other ones there are tp points really really close to the boss right here so yeah it's coming in 1.1 uh question number five it's annoying to have to select equipped artifacts and weapons to find out which character has them equipped in version 1.1 small character avatars will appear next to the icons of equipped artifacts and weapons allowing travelers to know exactly which character have which artifacts and weapons equipped at glance for example if you guys don't know let's say for example you look into the flowers you don't know who is on this on this flower right here and you can then click it 
and then you can see oh Ningguang has that flower so they're trying to implement where this little icon right here will actually show their profile picture so this Ningguang will basically go right there basically developer Q&A question how is damage calculated when I have more than one shield and which shield sustains damage first in practice when a character is hit the damage sustained will affect every active shield simultaneously after this damage is calculated if the character still have shields remaining then the character themselves do not take damage and they give out an example here so let's say for example you're using the character Do, and she has her uh, E ability which is the tide caller active at 100 defense like 100 hit points basically and let's say you have Noelle's breastplate at 20 so right now you're holding your Beidou's E and you have Noelle's shield around you as well uh, if monsters deal 10 damage to Beidou then the tide collar has a remainder of 90 hit points while the breastplate only has 10 remaining and then Beidou does not take damage but if the monster does 50 damage to Beidou, then the Tide Color now has 50 remaining and the Breastplate is now gone. Like, it is, it is not even there, but Beidou does not take damage still. But let's take for example, a monster deals 110 damage to Beidou. Both shields are exhausted and destroyed. Then Beidou will take the excessive 100 damage. So basically what they're saying here is that shields do not stack. In one respect, our decision to not employ stackable shields in our design was to avoid the need for players to acquire many shield type characters. This would also have a negative effect on the diverse party tactics that we were hoping to see. Of course, retaining one or two types of elemental shields is also a perfectly valid strategy against complex elemental damage and this can also be achieved rather easily through the crystallized reaction so basically they don't want the meta to be just having shields only and what are my thoughts on this it's i don't know i don't really care about this like it, it didn't really matter for me whether you know stacking shields was a thing or not and i feel like i kind of get their kind of point of view too because they just don't want the meta to be just oh yeah in order to achieve like be successful in this game you have to be able to have this kind of set all right guys uh kind of the future ub here so um <laughs> there is a really huge gap between the part the first part of the video and the you know part of this video right now and i just felt like as i was editing through the video it, it just kind of felt like no matter what i said it kind of didn't really get through but i guess you could say i kind of found my point of view now but you know what let's go over my opinions uh once again uh on how i feel about this so for the battle pass decreasing the amount that you need to meet from 1.6k original resin used to 1.2k that's pretty damn cool okay and the higher cap of 160 uh they tried <laughs> um but it wasn't really what we needed or what the community wanted but instead of complaining about the original resin system like oh yeah we need more original resin what you should be looking at is what can we do outside of the resin like if they gave you all of the resin that you needed in the world right what are you going to be doing you're going to be doing your domains right you're going to be do you're going to be farming this and you're going to be doing your artifacts and you might be doing some of your bosses as well as your ley lines like the Q bosses and your ley lines but what else is there to do aside from that resin is not going to fix the problem guys like you can complain all you want but one you have to look at it they are what's done is already done they increase the resin cap you know they're not going to be giving us resin Go ahead and cry all you want, but that's not going to change. The second thing that you guys want to be looking at instead of like the resin problem is the content, guys. When you were getting to AR30, 
or from 30 to 35, you weren't really worried about resin. The reason why is because you were so busy in the world itself solving puzzles, you know, going around finding chests, doing world quests, doing side quests. That was what kept you busy and didn't like that's why you never really hear any people complain about the resin until now because you know that's the only thing that's up in their face and that's what the only thing they can do right now but if we had something else to do aside from just the resin stuff then that would actually kind of solve the resin problem itself it's not the resin that is the problem here it's the lack of content that is the problem but this game has literally not been a month out yet it's just an infant so i can understand you know why there's no content at all because it's barely come out and of course all those hardcore people out there that played 24 7 non-stop um <clears throat> like me are going to be out of content that quickly but the good thing is is that this is a gotcha game and because it is a gotcha game you will be expecting more content in the future this is not like a game where it just comes out fully and there may be some dlcs here and there but it just kind of drops dead for example borderlands okay borderlands if you guys never played borderlands it's a really cool game but they come out with a full game maybe some dlcs here and there but what happens after that it's just the end of the game there is no content left after that but because this is a gotcha game and the company needs to keep on bringing the um the customers us to be more engaged in it every single time so they are going to be constantly pushing out more content looking out for more updates and all of that then of course us as the consumers we will always keep on coming back because they will always be pushing out content. There is never going to be an end to this game at all. So, you know, that's that's like a good side that you guys have to kind of look at, you know, this gotcha system or this gotcha game. But you know what? Haters will just keep on hating. And there's nothing that we can do about that as well either. That basically sums up what i have to say about this whole resin issue thing you know but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching the video please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one have a good morning have a good evening and have a good night peace